Hey, welcome back to Engine Shop Joe. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Tell your friends about the channel so that they can have helpful hints as well. Wanted to take a little break from the DEF system and look at something that uh, made me pull all my hair out. As you can see, it's grown back, most of it anyway. All that's going to grow back. And the fellow I was helping, who I... It was either Alabama or Georgia, I don't remember. Uh, he was losing his hair too. So what was the problem? It was random shutdown. So the driver would be driving. This was in a Class A tractor. He'd be driving down the road and the engine would just shut off. He'd coast over to the side, turn the key off, wait for a minute, start right back up. He could drive maybe the rest of his trip. This was going on for over two weeks. And it would stall at least two or three times in an eight or 10 hour uh, driving shift. Of course, you have lunch and everything in there, but he, he would have it, let's say it stalled in the morning, stalled in the afternoon, and would fire right back up. And so uh, we were kind of at our wits end because we had changed fuel filters, checked restrictions, checked return flows. We had uh, low test the batteries. It did change one bad battery. That didn't make any difference. Tightened all the connections, tightened the grounds. And so we were at the place where we were going to put an ECM on it and see if that fixed it. But we found the problem and I wanted to share it with you. So let's take a look. So let's take a look at the ECM that was on the engine. Over on the left, you've got the OEM harness port. Notice it's got a purple uh, piece of rubber sealant in it and then the uh, engine harness port has a brown rubber pad or sealant in it and then over on the right you've got the ECM ground and battery supply uh, this is pictures upside down normally on the engine uh, those ports are on the top not on the bottom but it can be mounted anyway really the important thing is you know what port is what port now I told the tech, I said, I want you to check that battery supply, unplug the plug, check the pin drag. I want you to check, uh, do the headlight load test. And actually that's not even enough of a current draw on those wires. Uh, at times the ECM can spike up to uh, 15 to 20 amps in certain cases. It's real quick, but it can do that. So you got to have a good battery supply. You have to have a good ground. And we had them disconnect all the batteries and load test them. And one of the batteries failed the load test, so they replaced it. But that didn't change anything. We still had the problem. So we, we were going round and round and round. And they had unplugged all the plugs and checked pin drag and all this other stuff. And finally, we noticed this. After taking a very close look, we noticed some green on these pins. And all the red arrows were pins that had corrosion on them. And some of them, uh, the arrows towards the top, those pins were so corroded they had a black uh, heavy corrosion on top of the pin and all the way down. Now these pins are very small. So this is uh, magnified about 10 times what the size of the actual pin is. Now the arrow on the top to the far right in this case is the ignition. And so what was happening was we had a very poor connection on that ignition pin and the ignition circuit draws well under one amp. But after running for a few hours we got hotter and hotter and hotter and there was so much heat in the small part of the contact surface between the connector and the ECM pin that the resistance got so high we couldn't carry the current and the ECM would shut down. Now the ECM needs 250 milliamps or more of current to maintain ignition on. Once you, really, once you hit 250, it's, it's starting to shut down. So we couldn't carry that milliamp through this pin. And we ended up replacing the ECM and we replaced all the uh, female pins in the ECM 
uh, OEM harness plug that were related to these pins. Put it back together and never had a problem again. So take a good look at that because we missed that two or three times. We looked right at it and never saw it. So um, actually what the way we found it was in passing, someone said, I wiped a small green circle off that was around the hole in the plug. And as soon as they said green, the light went on. So keep an eye out, watch for that green. When it comes to electrical, it's a killer. See you next time on Engine Shop Joe.